Já už moc nespíváme tyhle bažany. These bajans are very special. Prabhupada said that they are expansions of the holy name of Krishna. Ty bajany jsou opravdu speciální. Prabhupada mi říká, že to jsou expanze svatého jména Krishna. And they also, we talk a lot about chanting Hare Krishna, and sometimes we talk about chanting the name purely. A hodně mluvíme o zpívání, čistém zpívání Hare Krishna. And it's by the direction, association, guidance, and mercy of pure devotees that we can come to chant purely the holy name. A milost je jenom čistých oddaných, můžeme se dostat na tohle úroveň tohoto čistého zpívání svatého jména. Without pure chanting, it doesn't really depend on our mechanical effort. Because it's always in a certain mechanical way, it's not just that. It really depends on the mercy of the devotees. So I just don't know how else to just be like that. She will drop her voice and she will bow it, and he says that the dormant awakening of our loving affection for Krishna does not depend upon the mechanical process of hearing and chanting. So the Lord is wise and just. To vzímající láska ke Kršnovi to nezoprobudí ne, ne, ne nějakým mechanickým způsobem. Záleží to jenom na té milosti Pána. Aby jsme získali milost Pána, musíme získat milost Jeho odrany. So before we start, I'd just like to mention today is the disappearance day of one great devotee. A rád bych dneska zmínil, že je den odchodu jednoho velice významného daného. Who knows who's disappeared? Besides those I've talked to already. Who knows who's disappeared today is it today? Kdo ví, či je dneska den odchodu? That Krishna Pandit. How did you know? How did you know? Jak jste viděl? We know, we know. Die. The Krishna Pandit. You all know the Krishna Pandit. Everybody knows that. What did you say? You've all heard of him. So she is telling him. Yeah. Who is he? Who is he? He's the dead son. Who is he? Yes. Okay. We'll leave the rest till later. We're going to sing now some bhajan, and we'll start with Hari Krishna with Krishna for now. And then we'll sing this bhajan, which is normally sung on the disappearance day. Of great devotees, but they must be very bajam. They say, "Of the class, be very good at Khuru." He's a very good man. Because it is said that the disappearance day of great devotees is oftentimes more recognized than the appearance day. To je řečeno, že den od Khuru je často daleko více rozpoznán než den příchodu. Sometimes the appearance day is not known because nobody knows that they're a great devotee and no record is made. Protože když se čistý odaný zjeví a narodí, tak nikdo si to nevšimne, protože nikdo neví, kdo je čistý odaný. But when the great devotees leave this world after a lifetime of devotion, everybody recognizes their greatness. Ale když takový velký odaný opouští ten svět po celém životě, kdy udělal ohromnou službu, tak každý si to všimnu a ví už, že to je čistý den. You can also use your songbooks if you can find it. Když najdete, tady máte zpětníky, můžete je použít. We're going to sing 20 bhajans today. One hour. Dvacet, dvacet bhajanů. Kdo chce zpětník, kdo posíluje zpětník? The songs that we'll sing will come on the notice board, but if you are they on the screen, if they are not seen, you will not be able to hear the other share of the other side of the screen. This is something we miss out on in our Krishna consciousness sometimes. Is the opportunity to associate with and hear from Narottam Das and Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Takže to je co někdy vlastně nevyužíváme a to je ta združování se a zpívání těch písní na Matrivela Thakura. In their songs they take us through the process of from Nam Apara to Nam Abbas to Shudanam, from offensive chanting to pure chanting. Oni nás takhle provádí svými písněmi od té úrově nečistého zpívání až po to čisté zpívání. They guide us how to chant purely. A vedou nás a k tomu, aby jsme zpívali čistě. I have a question. Does any computer technical or technically minded person know how to get rid of the red lines which appear underneath the printing? 
If that being the case, it's not there in the English dictionary. You haven't got time to put all these words in the English dictionary. You know how to do that.
He was very famous amongst Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's associates. What was he famous for? Who knows? What was the Makreshwar Pandit famous for? Dancing. When Lord Chaitanya began his Nagar Sankirtan movement, and especially when he began the Sankirtan in the house of Sri Pandit. Only pure devotees were allowed admittance into the house. All night long, Lord Chaitanya would dance like crazy. Sri Damodar, different devotees, well not so much Sri Damodar there, but different devotees would sing the glories of the Lord and Lord Chaitanya would dance. And Vakreshwar Pandit was also attending these amazing kirtans. Sometimes the kirtan would go on for many days. The Kreshwar Pandit would dance continuously. One time he danced for 72 hours without a break. When he would dance, all the ecstatic symptoms of love of God would appear in the body. The Kreshwar Pandit was very dear to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Anyone who remembers him will purify the entire creation. He is the embodiment of Krishna Prema. And the gods and the demons would all become enchanted by his dancing. Now, one of the famous pastimes in North Chaitanya when he was in Nadia, another heap, was the deliverance of Devanath or Pandit. Devanath or Pandit was not a devotee of Lord Chaitanya. He was a devotee of Krishna, but he did not recognize Lord Chaitanya as Krishna. However, from his birth, Devananda Pandit had studied the Srimad Bhagavatam. And he said that he, he was the most learned scholar in Srimad Bhagavatam. So every day he would have discourse with many people gathering discussing the Srimad Bhagavatam. One day Srivas Thakur came to the house of Devananda Pandit. Srivas Thakur wanted to hear the Srimad Bhagavatam. When Devananda Pandit began to recite the Srimad Bhagavatam, Srivas Pandit went into ecstasy. Devananda Pandit continued to recite the Bhagavatam. Devananda Pandit pokračoval v recitování Srimad Bhagavatam. However, the other devotees or the other people gathered there, they did not understand what was going on. Ale osoby, které přicházely, tak nechápali, co se tam děje. Came out. Throw him out. Vyhoďte ho. Come on, throw him out. Vyhoďte ho ven. This man here. He is disturbed us. Tenhle člověk tady nás rozrušuje. He's ecstasy. Rozrušuje tady. He's disturbed us. Throw him out of the assembly. Vyhoďte ho z toho srmáždění. So the people threw him out. Lidé ho vyhodili. David and the pandit said nothing. 
for this activity, Lord Chaitanya was very angry. Because Devananda Pandit had offended Sri Thakur. Devananda Pandit was refused the mercy of Lord Chaitanya. However, later on, by the mercy of the Krishna Pandit, one day, the Krishna Pandit went to Kuliya. Where Devananda Pandit was residing, he went into, the, into his house and he began to dance. <laughs> and when Devananda Pandit saw the Krishna Pandit dancing, Devananda Pandit became attracted. Když Devananda Pandit viděl tohle jeho tancování, tak byl k tomu přitahován. Crowds of people gathered around. A tady lidi se schromáždili kolem. Devananda Pandit picked up a stick. Devananda Pandit uchopil takovou hičku. He went into the crowd. Vstoupil do toho davu. And with a stick he gathered him. Moved the crowd away. A s tou tyčkou začal ty davy rozhánět. So that the Krishna and Pandit could dance. Tak aby Vakrešva Pandit mohl tancovat a tancovat. Dance and dance without disturbance as the Kirtan went on. A když takhle tancoval celou dobu, tak Kirtan pokračoval. For six hours continuously, Vakrešva Pandit danced. Tancoval nepřetržitě šest hodin. Meanwhile, Devananda Pandit's heart was becoming soft. Mezi tím srdce Devananda Pandita začalo měkno. Finally, he fell at the feet of Vakrešva. Nakonec padnul k nohám Vakrešva Pandita. Holding on to the Pandit's feet, he begged for his mercy and shout. Chytil je a prosil o odpuštění a o útočiště. And by the mercy of Vakrešva Pandit, Devanada Pandit became a great devotee of Lord Chaitanya. A milosti Vakrešva Pandita se Devanada Pandit stal velkým oddaným Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Lord Chaitanya then instructed him with the same mouth that you have blasphemed the devotees. You must use that mouth to glorify them. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu mu nařídil stejnými ústy, kterými si pomluval o dané, tak teďko mi musíš oslavovat. This is the process. If we offend the devotee by speaking ever the devotee, the only atonement is to speak the glories of that devotee. Když si se dopustil přestupku vůči nějakému oddanému, tím, že jsi to nějak kritizoval, tak jediným odčiněním pro to je, že ho budeš oslavovat. It not enough just to ask for forgiveness. Nestačí jenom požádat o proměnutí. That is not so difficult. To není tak těžké. But that may not change the mentality. Tohle ještě nemusí změnit tu mentalitu. We have to actually with the same tongue, what Chaitanya said, that we have used to criticize or blaspheme another Vaishnava, the same tongue has to be used to glorify them. Čili tady má prvů nařídil, že stejným jazykem, který si kritizoval odaného, tak musíš ho oslavovat. Similarly, he gave the example. If through the, with the tongue that we take poison, we become sick. With the same tongue, we have to take Alexia to cure the sickness. Říká taky, že stejným jazykem, který si ochutnal jed a díky tomu se onemocnil, tak musíš přijmout taky ale medicínu stejným jazykem, aby si znovu uzdravil. The Lord then said to, to Devananda Pandit, because you have served a Krishna, I have noticed you. A či tady má prvou řekl Devananda, že teď, jak si sloužíš na Krishna, ale Panditovi, tak já jsem si to všiml. The Krishna is fully imbued with the Lord's transcendental energy. And whoever becomes devoted to Him attains the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. His heart is the personal abode of Sri Krishna. Jeho srdce je sídlem nejvyššího pána. And as Sri Krishna dances, so the Krishna also dances. Stejně jako nejvyšší pán tančí, tak a Krishna pání také. Wherever one can get the association of the Krishna, that place is the sum total of all holy places. 
místo, kde můžeme vzít společnost Vladry Švarpandita, tak se stane tím nejlepším posvátným místem. A je stejně tak dobré jako Vajkneta. Krishna Visaja Nityaya Prabhu Sukham Vati Jena Sasrayaya Kammayam Nitam Kadanamaya Iti Chitanya Pradesa Udhacha Maduram Vacha Svaprakasha Dedena Sasrayakatam Visa Vishwapandit is the fourth member of the Chatur Yuga, Aniruddha. Vakrishwapandit is the fourth member of the Chatur Yuga, Aniruddha. He brought happiness to the Lord by dancing in the mood of Krishna. Kutishil Pana Tinja Tansava Nalaji Krishna. He would sweetly say to Mahaprabhu, O merciful Lord, Give me a thousand singers so that I can dance. Svatce říkal Mahaprabhovi, O milostivý pane, prosím, dej mi tisíce zpíváků, tak aby mohl tančit. Vládnou dear Saki, Sasi Reka also entered into him. Také do něho vstoupila drahá Saki, Radharani, která se jmenuje Saki Reka. Sri Vakreshwar and his disciple was Gopal Guru Goswami, and Gopal Guru Goswami's disciple was Sri Dhyana Chandra Goswami. Jakem Sri Vakreshwar Pandita byl Gopal Guru Goswami, jeho žákem byl Sri Dhyana Chandra Goswami. In his Dhyana Chandra Pandita, Dhyana Chandra Goswami has written, that person who was previously very expert in the arts of singing and dancing, the gopi named Tunga Vidya is presently renowned in the world as the Kreshwar Pandit. Ve svém díle Dhyan Chandra Parhati, Dhyan Chandra Goswami napsal, osoba, která dříve byla expertní v umění zpěvu a tance, gopi je Tunga Vidya, tak je teď vám současně známa v tomto světě jako Kreshwar Pandit. He has appeared on the fifth day of the dark fortnight of the month of Asai, June, July. Zjevil se pátého dne tmavého čtrnácti dení měsíce Asai. And he closed his past times in this world on the sixth day of the bright fortnight of the same month. A opustil tento, ukončil své závod v tomto světě šestého dne světlého čtrnácti dení měsíce Asai. Well, Vakreshwar danced, Mahaprabhu himself would sing, and Vakreshwar would catch hold of the Lord's lotus feet. Když Vakreshwar pandit tancoval, tak Mahaprabhu samotný zpíval, a Vakreshwar se chytil jeho lotosových nohou a řekl, Vakreshwar pandit would say, O moon-faced one, please give me ten thousand Gandharvas, and let them sing while I dance, then I will be happy. Oh, the... Tedy máš tvář jako úplně, tak prosím, dej mi deset tisíc gandagů a dovolím, ať můžou zpívat během toho, když tančím. Mahaprabhu answered, You are one of my wings. If I had another wing like you, I could fly in the sky. A potom budu šťastný. A Mahaprabhu odpověděl, Ty jsi jedním z mých křídel. Kdybych měl ještě víc takových křídel, tak bych mohl létat. To byla troška o Vakrešvar Pandy tady. When Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would organize himself the Rathayatra festival. Když Chaitanya Mahaprabhu samotný organizoval festival Rathayatra. He would organize the dancing parties. Tak je organizoval taneční skupiny. The singers, the Madanga players, everything he organized. In one party, Lord Chaitanya selected Sri Damodar Goswami to sing. 
jedné skupině vybral svaru Kandar Gosvámiho a vyspíval. Další skupině jako Vindar Goše. Další Šrivastáku. Další Mukundu. We also selected the dancers in each party. Také v každé skupině vybral tanečníka. The lead dancers, hlavního tanečníka, who have such an important part to play in the kirtan. Který hraje velice důležitou roli v tom kirtanu. In one party, Lord Chaitanya selected who did he select? A v jedné skupině vybral koho? A Krishna Pandit. A Krishna Pandit. And another party, who did he choose? A další skupině koho? Advaita Acharya, who at that time was around 80 years of age, he was a main dancer. Do not think that you are too old. Another party he chose, Haridas Thakur, who was also very young. At 70 years of age. Another party he chose. Simply by singing and dancing, one can achieve the highest perfection of life. Now let us sing this song, remembering the great Vaishnavas who come into this world to give us their association. Pojďme teďka zpívat písně, které oslavují velké vašnavy, kteří přicházejí do tohoto světa, aby... Čiže se čiže nanda bhakti vino takor describes how by remembering these great devotees one can develop satisfaction. A šia bhakti vino takor říká, že už jenom vzpomínáním na tyto velké odane, tak nám může tohle přinést spokojení. One can develop confidence. And one can become enthusiastic. Simply by this is how we associate with them. By hearing about them, following their instructions, and glorifying them, and praying to them for mercy.
A žádá nás všechny, ať už jsme svobodní nebo ženatí, aby jsme všichni zpívali hledy Krišna. Říká, ať jsi šťastný nebo trpíš, tak neustále mě svá ústa naplněná svatými jmény. Zápasíme v tomto světě s májou. A úplně beznaděně se snažíme najít nějaké štěstí. Ale jednoduše je trpíme. A teď, když jsme získali si tu vzácnou lidskou životní podobu, bychom se měli zaměstnat tímto zpíváním svatých mén Pána. Because this life may end at any moment. So that life can be ended at any moment. And if we do not engage our senses in the service of the Lord, we wasted our life. A když nezamyslíme naše smysly ve službě Pánu, tak jenom promarňujeme život. The Bhagavad Gita appeals to everyone: Please, at least once in his lifetime, relish the holy name of Krishna. Tak to Bhagavad Gita už naléhá na všechny: Prosím, prosím, aspoň jednou v životě. Vychutnejte toto svaté jméno, Kršny. Takže tato písaň je velice jednoduchá a je takovou osnovou vlastně vědomí Kršny a taky podstaty reality v hlavné existence. A taky popisuje vlastně způsob, jak se vyspobodit z tohoto zaplatení zrození a smrti a znova přímo to utočiště o to sobě na hodkušně. This is called Shrina. Písem se na nej šli na Hey, 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 hey,
All the glory is to you, O son of Rohini. I am controlled by you. If anyone even once chants the name, Nityananda, they will become purified, and I will immediately accept that person as my own. Nityananda, 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 Nityananda.
Vitanama, he can see what, what devotees are sitting there, and he can see their uh, abilities, their adhika, their qualifications. And according to that, he's giving them the name. And now, now has to be not just begging, Jody, now, in the pie, uh, when you when you buy the name my brothers then if you if you're interested in buying the name then come with me come with me to this great soul and you will buy the Krishna's name and I will get some provisions my commission <laughs> yeah yeah Commission. Okay. It's like this when we preach Krishna consciousness. The people benefit, and we also benefit. By giving the holy name to others, one gets the mercy of the holy name. <laughs> Uh, uh, in this way, your your desires to get fulfilled. That's an and uh, yeah, he's very merciful, this Nityananda, because only faith is enough what he's getting, and he's giving the greatest peace. Pan Nityananda is very merciful, and he's very merciful, and he's very merciful, and he's very merciful, and he's and, and when when he when he sees just once a, a drop of tears in your eyes, and uh, and when he hears you sing the Gora, Gora's name, then Nitai will give all treasures. And he will, he will give you, he will give you uh, pure teachings about Krishna. And he will give you good uh, progeny and and uh, wealth and knowledge and strength. Oh no, actually, sorry. He, he will just give you this teaching, and it doesn't matter. These things don't matter. The, the, what is your what is your origin? What is your birth? And what is your wealth or knowledge or strength? That doesn't matter. That's that he's indifferent to that. So if you are not able to give the pure teaching of Krishna, and if you have the power and the knowledge and the wealth and the strength, then that is not enough. And when when he sees I think yeah. this is that uh, you will somehow get uh, disentangled from Maya's uh, net and you can remain in your house or you can remain in the forest and there will be no disturbances for you. Yeah, so you just you the problem. You will no more be afraid of Kali. And this uh, merciful Vitai, you will give names to everyone, including Chandavas or the outcasts. So, this calling like this. Uh, Except for the Nityananda's lotus feet, there is no other shelter. Partina říká a volá, že kromě Nityananda je proto svůj znamení na útočiště.
O oh, man of faith, O oh, man of faith, by the order of Lord Karanga, O oh, brothers, we beg this request of you. Říkali, o lidé, kteří máte víru, prosím, na pokyn pána Gouranky, obrat si, žádám vás o toto. Please chant Krishna. Prosím, zpívejte Krishna. Worship Krishna. Uctívejte Krishna. And follow Krishna's instructions. A následujte Krishnovi pokyny. Their intention was to bring everyone to the platform of pure chanting of the holy names. They request the people, please, be careful, remain free of offenses. Even the chanting of Nama Das, please avoid this. Prosím, i na úrovni zpívání Nama Bhas, vyhněte se jim. Nama Bhas je the clearing stage in chanting. Nama Bhas je fáze úroveň zpívání, očišťovací. Our chanting is not completely pure. It is much, we're not chanting intentionally offensively. To zpívání není ještě úplně čisté, ale zároveň nespíváme jako záměrně, že chceme při tom konat přizorky. There are two kinds of namabhas. Jsou dva druhy namabhas. There is chaya namabhas. Jedna úroveň je chaya namabhas. The shadow of the holy name. To je stín svatého jména. And pati vimna namabhas. Pati vimna namabhas. Which is a reflection of the holy name. To je odraz svatého jména. Of the two, the chaya namabhas means the one is chanting with ignorance. A z těchto dvou, tak ta večera na Mabás znamená, že to člověk zpívá v nevědomosti. One hasn't realized the transcendental nature of the holy man. Ještě nezrealizoval transcendentální pohahu svatého jména. One's chanty may not always be so attentive. A to zpívání nemusí být vždy pozorné. One is not chanty with a purposeful intention of obtaining material results. Ale nespívá záměrně, aby získal nějaké materiální výsledky. All liberation. Nebo vyslobození. If the chanting is for the purpose of obtaining a material return or liberation, it is prati bimba namabhas. Pokud je takové zpívání za tímhle účelem těch materiálních výsledků nebo vyslobození, tak to je takové prati bimba namabhas. Such chanting will not lead a takovýhle druh zpívání nepovede spát ve vlásce k Bohu. Člověk může získat tímto způsobem ten výsledek, po kterém touží. A člověk, který zpívá s takovýmhle záměrem, tak bude mít při tom velké těžkosti. But those who are chanting in Chaya Namadas were just in ignorance or the lack of full attention, in the association of great devotees, can develop pure natural attraction for the Holy Name. We should carefully try to avoid these offenses in chanting. And also become free of the motivation to chant for material reasons. You should simply chant in the beginning to purify our hearts. Na začátku máme zpívat, abychom očistili svá srdce. And ultimately to develop our love for Krishna. A takhle postupně nakonec rozvinou tu čistou lásku ke Krishnemu. Sister Sina, Nityananda Prabhu also requests us to give up all improper behavior. As a team of Uchala Nityananda Prabhu nas taki jada, abizme zanekhali uspreho nespravneho kovani. We can carry on with our worldly activity. Můžeme pokračovat se světskými činnostmi, but only in relationship with Krishna. Ale pouze ve vztahu s Krishnou. Not simply for the sake of it. Nejenom za účelem těch činů. But that which is favorable to help us to develop our relationship with Krishna. 
ale můžeme dělat cokoliv, co nám pomůže rozvinout ten náš vztah ke Krštavě. We have to learn to see our work in relationship with Krštavě. Musíme se naučit vidět tu naší práci v souvislosti s Krštavem. Ta schopnost, že tu práci vůbec jsme schopni vykonávat, tak ta pochází od Krštavě také. The objects or the instruments for work are given to us by Krishna. A taky různé pomůcky a nástroje, které ty práci potřebují nám Krishna dává. The result is given by Krishna. A výsledek nám taky dává Krishna. And whatever we do it, we should try to be Krishna conscious while we work. Takže během toho, až děláme cokoliv, tak si máme být vědomí Krishna jenom zda. Rachman sarejšu kalejšu, máma nesmí hodně těžá. If we work in this consciousness of Krishna, we'll be sure to attain to Krishna. Tak práce, která je vykonávána s tím vědomím Krishna, tak zajisté bude ke Krishnovi. Our mind and intelligence fixed on Krishna, and our activities dedicated to attain him without a doubt. Že naše mysl a inteligence je opnutá na Krštu, tak je jisté, že jednou ho dosáhneme. I v prakticky zdáli je velice materiální situaci, tak Krštu je přítomná všude. My se jednoduše máme naučit oceňovat tu jeho přítomnost za každý okolností. Nitiana ve spolu s Harina jsou takové, chodili všude a dávali všem příležitost dostat se k tomto vědomí Krišna. A následující v jejich šletěch si máme taky snažit chodit od města k městu, od vesnice k vesnici a po celém světě šířit tady toto vědomí Krišny. Ještě můžeme pět dvě zpívat, nebo? Yeah. 